Hello everybody and Merry Vlogmas day two. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, click here to watch this video where I talk about what Vlogmas is, the holiday activities that I'm planning with you guys, and the giveaway that I'm hosting during this month. So watch that, come back, I'll wait. Anyway, for those of you that know what I was talking about, let's get right into the question of the day. I forgot my sheet of paper. I'm always forgetting something. At my work, they started playing a whole bunch of Christmas music, and so that got me thinking today. I thought a good question of the day would be, what's your favorite Christmas song? Because I wanna know. Remember, if you guys answer it, you get a bonus entry into the giveaway. Anyway, we're gonna jump right into the topic of today's video which is making snowflakes, which was my favorite thing to do as a kid, and I found a bunch of these super sick templates. You done? Let's get into it. But before we do that quick, make sure to stick around for the MC OTD and Christmas trivia. Let's go. So online I found this website with these like 12 different templates. Link to the the website is in the description down below and you can click on that if you'd like some templates to make some pretty winter snowflakes. What do you need? Well, I'm going to tell you. First off, paper and a pencil if you'd like to make your own designs. I used various sizes of scissors because it was just easier to cut out the tinier triangles with the tiny scissors, right? Then some string if you want to hang them. If you don't, you don't need it. Uh, flat surface in your folding hands. You click the link in the description to bring you to this website. You can scroll down and pick the template of the snowflake that you want. I chose four because it's the easiest, bro. Uh, and then if you go all the way to the bottom, there's a little square with the arrow. If you hit that, then scroll all the way down. There's a button that says print. Then you go all the way up to the top. Select your printer. That's the only one we have here. How many copies you want and I wanted to make sure it was in black and white because you know I'm out of colored ink all the time anyway just hit print real quick this part right here I go through all the examples super fast so if you see one that you like pause it and then you can look at the template number so you can print it out on the website So once you have your template, you can follow the instructions on the top, but I'm going to tell you them now. So basically, cut your square out of the sheet of paper, then take your square and fold it in half the triangular way. Make a right angle, Sokotoa action. Uh, then you're going to fold it in half again to make a tinier triangle. And then the right side is going to go back first, and then the left side. So I like to flip it upside down, but that's just my preference. And then the other side. All you got left is the designed area, and the gray part is the one that you want to cut out. Don't cut out the white part, then you're just going to have a bunch of triangles. And voila, easy as pie, you're done. Unfold that thing carefully though. I can't tell you how many snowflakes I've ripped open from just grabbing at it too quickly. I just get so excited, guys. So you guys saw these examples already in an earlier clip, but I'm just showing you, this is how I flatten them. You know, when you cut them out and they're, cause they're all folded, I put them in between a bunch of sheets of construction paper, and then you put your heaviest book you can find, and mine was my anatomy and physiology coloring book. Snowflake 11 was my absolute favorite, so I just wanted to do a video of me unfolding it because just like look how beautiful it is. Please admire my snowflake. The Christmas trees are just exquisite and the stars inside are just divine. Christmas trivia, question number two. Elvis is not going to have a white Christmas. He's going to have a what Christmas? Fun fact, I've been to his house. It's pretty cool. If you haven't been to Graceland, you should really go check it out because, I mean, I really liked it. Today's mug cake of the day is brought to you by my friend Elena who picked out a s'mores flavor for tonight's mug cake. So let's go try it. I asked my husband Zach to help me lay out all the ingredients for the mug cake and wow, he made it look like I'm in a professional baking show. It's so exquisite. 
Get your favorite mug out and let's get started. Put in a fourth a cup of flour, three tablespoons of sugar, a fourth a teaspoon baking powder, one tablespoon of cocoa, and a little bit of salt. Then whisk it all together and it looks like that. Then a fourth a cup of milk. Look at my cute little measuring cup. Isn't it adorable? Anyway, that. Then a splash of vanilla. And two tablespoons of oil. You're gonna stir that all together. Make sure there's no lumps. Then put in two tablespoons of mini marshmallows. And personally, it said two tablespoons of mini chocolate chips, but it was too rich for me. So next time I'd maybe do just one. And then crush up half of a graham cracker in there. It'll look like gooey deliciousness. It looks so appetizing and I just like, can I resist? I don't even know if I want to cook it. It's like brownie batter, but like magical fixings. I will not hesitate to let the spoon. One more, one more. Yum, yum. I totally forgot to record the microwave part. But basically, you put just the batter in the microwave for 40 seconds, and then you take it out, and then you put the remaining chocolate chips and mini marshmallows and the other half of the graham cracker on the top, and then you cook it for just 10 more seconds. Then you let it sit for one minute, and then, hold on, then you add this beautiful stuff. Let's drizzle that on the top here. Oh yes, time for some Instagram pictures. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys learned how to make some pretty sweet snowflakes or that you made a, a pretty sweet mug cake, you know? Um, my next Vlogmas will be up on Saturday, December 5th. Yeah, and we'll be decorating my house for Christmas since that's when all my decorations come in the mail. So I'm super excited for that. We're going to be playing some festive music and rocking around my Christmas tree. So yeah, that's all. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.